For today's project, I'm going to show you how to validate JavaFX text field for alphabetic letters. In this demo of the project we're going to create here, we've got a text field input. We're going to use key event to validate the input. Down the bottom here, I'll actually output the key press as we go along. If the user enters in an alphabetic letter, you can see down here I'm actually outputting the actual key press. Now if they went to enter in a number, or an invalid key that's not alphabetic, it'll actually output an error message. Also, we're outputting an image over here. You can see the key that I've pressed down here, which is not a valid alphabetic. If I entered in another character that's not allowed, it also outputs this error message. If the user then goes to click inside the text field again, or enter a valid key, it'll remove this error message, and then allow them to type from there on. If they exceed the actual stipulated maximum input of this text field, it'll also give an error message, notifying to the user the maximum input that's allowed in this text field. They can also delete and backspace using the key event. As well as preventing invalid input, we're also preventing if they copy and paste as well because if they do copy and paste, it could exceed the maximum stipulated input. Okay, let's get this project started by showing you how this is created first of all in Scene Builder. Now in Scene Builder, I've created a basic project here where we've got a text to prompt the user for entering an input. We've got a text field, which has got an ID. It's got an action on the key typed and on the mouse clicked. And then we've got over here an image, which is what we display for the error and the error label down the bottom here. The error label has an ID and the image has an ID. Now over in NetBeans, is our project coded. Don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel and on my website to receive all the code. Now in the last project, that's my text field validation project. That'll show you how to set up all the libraries for your project itself and to set up the runtime and explain to you further how I've coded the object which is returned by the validate text field and explain exactly what the code does. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to run you through how to basically validate for alphabetic input. So over here on validate text field, you create an instance of this class and do this for each text field that you wish to validate separately. The reason why is so you can track the actual cursor carrots and that way uh, it'll seem seamless to the end user. Now to validate for alphabetic input, we simply check down here to see if it is alphabetic. If it is not alphabetic itself, then what we do is we remove that key event character and then we replace the text in the actual text field. And then we just set the caret position back one because we removed that actual character. We also set the return object boolean error to true and the actual error message in the return of object that needs to be displayed. Then what we do is we also check to make sure this doesn't exceed the actual stipulated text maximum input. And if it does, we remove the character. And then we just also set the object again, the boolean true and the error message that's need required to be sent to the end user. At the end, we simply send back this object itself. Now to move on to the actual code for the FXML controller, down here is where we actually create instances of the actual validate text class and the return object as well. And in here is actually where we actually link to the event for the input, for the key typed, and for the mouse clicked event itself. And this is where we actually display the error message if it's true. Here is simply just my demo that I've shown you there where I've outputted the actual event for the input on the keyboard. Then down here is where we actually display the error message itself out to the error label. And then if it's empty itself, 
then we just set the actual image to be not visible. If there is something in the error message, then we actually set the visibility on the image to be true. Look out for the next two videos, which will be for validation on key event for numbers, where you can only enter in a whole number, and validation on decimal numbers, where once again, you can only enter in a decimal number this time, uh, only allowed to enter in one decimal point at a time. Don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel and on my website to receive all the code.